Lisa, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my winged liner and how I apply my lashes. This video was requested by one of my subscribers, so thank you so much for requesting this video. I really appreciate it and I feel like I finally got down how to do my winged liner. So I'm pretty confident and I was like, yeah, let's do it. So, I guess I don't really have much to say. I hope you really enjoy this video. Don't forget to like it if you did. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Okay, let's get started. There's a lot of different varieties of eyeliners that you could use to create a winged liner. My favorite is gel liner, but you can also use like a liquid eyeliner. I have a couple of those or the Benefit Push Up They're Real. I used to use this one all the time. I loved it, but I just recently got back into using gel liner and like I'm in love. I feel like I finally got it down. Like I am, I feel like I'm pretty confident with my winged eyeliner with gel. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. I'm going to use, this one is um, Maybelline's gel liner in blackest black. There's different brushes that you can use to apply your eyeliner with. Um, you can use the angled brush, there's a other eyeliner brush, or an even smaller eyeliner brush. But my favorite and the easiest for me is an angled brush. So that's what I'm going to use. So all I do is just dip it in the little thing here. And I get, like to get some on both sides of the brush so it's evenly coated. Oh, first off. When I did my eyeshadow, you guys have probably seen from my previous videos, I put tape. And tape, it, you, it helps so that, you know, the eyeshadow can be nice and crisp at the edge. But it's also my guide for when I do my eyeliner. So what I'm going to do is trace right along the line from the eyeshadow that was made with the tape. And I'm just going to trace right along the line. So once I get that line, I'm going to take some more eyeliner. And then I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect this point to my eyelid. So we're just going to drag it across. Just like that. And then kind of fill in the little triangle. And it's okay if the line right here is crooked. We're going to go back in with concealer and clean it all up. So at first it's going to look like we need to clean it up at the end. So what I'm going to do is just keep dragging it in. And when I get to the corner, I like to turn my brush. I was using it this direction and I had it on my eye this way. So now I'm going to flip it and I'm going to use it in the other direction. And I'm just going to vary with small strokes. Go right across my lash line and you can I like to tug my eye a little bit I know it's bad for you because you're gonna get wrinkles when you get older but I have to I don't have another choice I have to so I'm just slightly pull it taut and drag your liner across I get a little bit more eyeliner and then do it again and I just like to go over the very top just to make sure that there's no crooked lines. And you have to, this eyeliner takes time. It's not something that the first time you try, you're going gonna to be a pro. I mean, if you're a pro the first time, good for you. I wish that happened to me. Eyeliner took me forever to get down. Like, this is, it's, it's hard. It takes time and practice. But the more you practice, obviously, the better you will get at it. So... Don't get put down if the first time you try it's bad because it happened to me too. It happens to everyone. So you just have to take your time. So now what I did was I put a little bit more product on my brush. And what I'm going to do is kind of lift up and I'm going to make a line straight down. I'm just kind of extending out the wing. And then I'm just going to go back and make sure everything is nice and connected. So first wing done. Let me show you the other side. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to follow the line from the tape. And we're just going to wing it out. 
So straight down towards my eye. And also, let me say, if you guys don't want to use tape, you don't have to. That's just something that I like to use. So if you're not using tape and you don't have that line, what you want to do is follow your bottom your bottom lash line up. So you see how it curves up? You just want to keep taking that straight up. So it's like a line here connecting to your lower lash line. And then you're going to make a line from the edge to your lid and then fill in a little triangle. Okay, so once I get about halfway, I like to get more product on the blur on the brush and flip it around and I'm going to connect the inner corner to the middle. Very light strokes. Remember, don't get crazy and be like, Rah! then you're going to mess up. Then you'll be having some crooked eyeliner. It takes time. Okay, then get more product on the brush and then pull up slightly and extend the wing. The number one thing whenever I'm doing eyeliner that I focus on the most is making the line up here nice and straight. I like to make sure that it's nice and even. I don't really care too much about this down here because we're going to go back in with concealer and clean it up. So we're going to get that crisp line at the end. But when I'm doing my eyeliner, I like to, sorry, it's hard to do my, it's hard to do your eyeliner while you're talking. Um, while I'm doing it, I like to make sure that the line and in the inside is nice and even. Okay, so now that we've got both eyeliners on, I'm going to take um, this concealer brush and concealer. This is just the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 20. Then I'm just going to take a little bit onto the brush. I'm just going to wipe it on here. You have to do this in one motion. You can't, you know, go like one stroke, two stroke, three stroke, four. No, you just want to take it straight across in one motion. See, just like that, one, one swipe. A little bit of eyeliner will drag. If I get a little closer, you can see. You see this right here? That is eyeliner that drug out. And that is okay. I like when that happens because that gives me that nice long elongated flick. And if you don't want it, all you gotta do is take your concealer and just kind of pat it out. So it's not so drastic. Oh, and let me tell you another thing. Each time you go back and get concealer on your brush, you wanna wipe your brush off. I just have a little towel here. You wanna wipe it off. Because it will have black eyeliner on it, and if you don't wipe it, then when you go back in, you're going you're gonna to drag a lot of black, and it's just going to be a big, hot mess. So each time, just wipe your brush. Like I said, eyeliner takes time. And remember, remember, your eyeliner are sisters, not twins. They're not going to come out looking identical, no matter how hard you try. It's never, it's never going to come out looking identical. There's going to be one eye that's slightly up or slightly down or one wing that's slightly thicker than the other. They're never gonna be matching. So that's it. That's how I do my winged liner. As you can see, I have that nice little flick and it doesn't, it's not that hard. Once you practice, the more you practice, the better you will get at it and the easier that it will be. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my eye makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, next thing is eyelashes. So my two favorite kinds of eyelashes are the Ardell Demi Wispies and the Ardell Glamour Wispies. This one is a double pack, but obviously I already used these. And then the glue that I like to use is the Duo Adhesive, the green one, because it comes with a little brush and I just think it's very convenient and you don't have to squeeze it out of a tube. So when you're taking lashes out of a package, you want to be very careful not to... Can we get focused here? Okay. When you're taking them out of the package, you want to be very gentle with them and careful not to mess them up. So what you're going to do is take your thumb and you're just going to press against your eye. You're just going to rest it here and press against it and then slightly pull it forward so that way it comes unstuck from the little plastic tray. Because they come with adhesive to, so they can stay 
stuck and pretty in the package. You don't want to grab it from one end and pull it off because that will ruin your lash. You want to put your place your thumb on the lash and then just lightly pull it forward so that way it becomes detached from the little package. Then once you get it off, you're going to see some glue on it. That glue is not to put on your um Eyelash, you, can you see that little chunk of glue there, right here? You want to take that piece of glue off. So we're just going to take our fingers and just pull that glue off. And usually in the eyelash packs, the way that they're put in here is um, what eye they're supposed to go on. These are a little more easier to tell because the inner corner is much shorter than the outer corner. So you can tell obviously this one goes on the right eye and the other one will go on the left eye. But... Um, Sometimes, like the Glamour Wispies, they look the same on both sides. So this one is going to go on the right eye, this one will go on the left eye. How they are in the package is how they go on your eyes. We're going to just put glue on the lash. You don't want to put too much, otherwise it'll take a long time to dry. And you want to wait for your lashes to get tacky. This one, this glue, um, is kind of cool because it goes on white. And then as it dries, it dries to almost like a blue tint. And so that's when you know that your lashes are ready to put on when the glue turns blue. So you don't want to put too much glue, just like this. I got glue on there. It's not a lot, just a little bit. And you want to let it get tacky. Now while it's getting tacky and you're waiting for it to dry, a good thing that you can do to your lash so it doesn't lift on either corner, because usually on the inner corner or the outer corner, it'll start lifting throughout the day. So to help prevent that, you can take your lash, grab it on one corner and then grab it on the other corner and bend it into like a little circle. And then you just want to work it back and forth just to kind of loosen up the band so that way it doesn't stay stick straight. And so it has like a curve to it. So that way it stays stuck to your lash. So you want to just do that on the first one. So now that my blue, the glue is blue, I'm going to... Apply my lash. <gasps> my best friend just texted me. I need to hurry. Okay. So what I like to do is first place it onto my eyelid. And then I like to grab it and stick the outer corner down. And then I go to the inner corner and stick that piece down. You want to get it down as close as, as you can to your natural lashes. You don't want to have your lash all the way like on your eyelid, otherwise it's going to look funny. So just get it down as far as you can. And like I was saying about getting the glue tacky, you want to make sure that it's tacky, otherwise it's just going to be slipping and sliding everywhere. It's not going to stick as soon as you put it down. So now I'm going to do the same on the other eye. I'm going to place it right in the middle and then I'm going to stick the outer corner down. And I'm going to grab the inner corner and stick that side down. The inner corner is always the hardest for me. It's personal preference, whatever's easier for you. I like to use my fingers to apply my eyelashes just because I feel like I have more control. But some people like to use their tweezers, so they, they just grab their tweezers and press against the lash but I don't like to use the tweezers and they even sell these little things that come in packs of lashes sometimes the tool over the whole eyelash and you would just press it against your your lid but that's not what I like to do usually I just like to use my fingers and then they're on so we're gonna let them dry a little bit and then we're going to go over with eyeliner, so we're just going to let them dry. And I need to text my best friend back because she's texting me. So we're going to go back into the, to the gel liner and with the same brush, the angled brush, and we're just going to get some in here. So we're going to take gel and we're going to go right over the line of the glue. Because the glue can dry shiny and you want to conceal the glue as much as possible. You don't want your lashes to be obvious. So you want to try to make them as natural looking as possible. So we're just going to go over the line from the glue just to cover up that it's shiny. And now that your lashes are on, you don't want to be too rough with your eyes. 
Otherwise, you might take your eyelash off. Look, it's coming up in this corner. That's good that that happened, so I can show you guys. So with this little brush, I also like it because when that happens, I can just take my brush and just brush glue onto the strip of where it's lifting. And then let it get tacky a little bit. And then I would just take my fingers and stick it down. Just like that. And then don't forget to go back over with glue. I mean, not with glue, with gel. And that is it. Now, next, you're going to put mascara on. Some people put mascara on before they put their lashes to make the lashes last longer. But these are just like $3 lashes from the drugstore. So I really don't care. So what I'm going to do is just go back and forth and just apply mascara as normal. You want to make sure that you get down far enough to get your natural lashes blended in with your false lashes. Because you don't want to... Be walking around with your eyelashes sticking, natural lashes sticking straight out, but then you got your false lashes nice and curled up. So you want to make sure that you get them stuck to the lash. Like I said, we're trying to make it look as natural as possible. And mascara is personal preference. Today I'm just using the Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara, but you can use any mascara of your choice. And then just apply mascara to the bottom. And make awful faces because we can never put mascara or eyeliner or anything on our lower lash line without making our face long. Okay, and then the last thing before you're done, I like to go and kind of press my natural lashes and the false lashes together. So that way I don't have to worry about them sticking straight out. And that is it. That is how I do my wing liner and my lashes. Let me take a cute selfie real quick. Maybe we can post that on Instagram. I gotta go. I gotta go.